just arrived at Liverpool Lime Street and to go back. Lots of TV cameras here. Just got off the train, Liverpool Lime Street, in my home city of Liverpool. It's always nice to, always nice to be here and walk around. I'm going to get my eye checked. I think this is the last checkup after my um, eye surgery, uh, lens replacement. So it's been good. It's been good. It's it's definitely it's definitely better. I can read. Uh, a lot more clearer uh, on one eye without glasses. The other eye still need glasses on that, so I am still wearing glasses, hence that around my neck. Uh, and I think today might be the day when they decide to do the other eye, if I want to go ahead with the other eye or not. Uh, and for being honest, it isn't 100% perfect, my eye. is isn't 100%, it's about 95%. Now, I feel it gets a little bit drier, but I was warned of that, so that's kind of be expected. Uh, I've got a few eye drops I put in now and again. And also, it feels like I'm getting a little bit more tired with the one eye as well. Whether that's just because it's drying out, I'm going to speak to the consultant today to just find out. Uh, but yeah, I um, I think I will be. I'm pretty, pretty sure I will be getting the other one done. With two bionic eyes. Here I am, back at Ultra Lays, right in front of the Liver Buildings. The three graces there. Not a bad day actually, February. Let's go and see what they say. Check up all went well, pleased to say. And uh, no problems to report on. We did the eye tests whilst we were there as well, of course. And uh, yeah, visibility is, is good. So much more better than this one when they're separated. Um, You've asked me, do I want to get uh, prepared for the next one? We haven't got a date yet, uh, but we've decided we're going to have another three months to have a think about it. And the reason why is it's about me getting used to this existing eye. Yes, it is a little bit drier, which that's to be expected, but it does get better. Uh, it's giving me a few more eye drops as well for that there. And <clears throat> I just got to put them in on once a day uh, for the next month or two see how that goes and what you do get when you get these kind of bifocal lenses is you get you know pretty much 100% improvements on your short-term eyesight which is that was what I was struggling with however it does affect your long term just a tiny little bit now when I'm driving I'm looking at far distance you know across there now or looking at that lovely building across there it all looks fine because I'm looking through my two eyes, but my unoperated eye has got the best sight long distance. So it's a bit of a compromise you have to accept and get used to. Uh, so that's where I'm a little bit on the knife's edge of do I get the other one done straight away and just get on with it. I'm going to get it done eventually because my unoperated eye is still declining and always will decline when you have the lens replacement it doesn't it's set like that then for the rest of your life you know it just takes a bit of getting used to we just arrived at Liverpool Lime Street then to go back lots of TV cameras here there's well, four or five of them around us I'm not sure what's happening so we're playing a piano and a big outside broadcast set just across there Lucas. Who, sorry? Lindemann. Lucas. I, I don't know who they are. I do not know. Who? No. No.
not much you can get there now, is it? was nice to see and listen to however i just seen mika the singer and i don't know the chinese gentleman's name um i know he's a fantastic pianist uh, both walk off back over to their little zone and uh, someone walked over to ask for an autograph and mika just ignored them and carried on walking and the chinese gentleman didn't he stopped and signed the autograph <laughs> hey ho Anyway, I'm getting my train, it's here. Popping over to Oak Terrace now to check out the uh, apartments there. We're doing some checkups on the all 13 of them. And EPCs are getting done today as well, energy performance certificates. Because they've run out after 10 years. How are you doing, mate? You alright? There you go. Whew, what a long day it's been. Just walking back now from the train station. Got back from the train, get off Reckleston Park and walk up to ours. It's literally only two minutes walk, it's nice. But um long day, been to the apartments. Uh, Darlene and I went in all all 13 of them. We have to do checks. No, we only went 12 actually, we didn't go in one of them. All 12 of them to do the uh, kind of like six month checkups. See how the apartments are looking. And they're looking great actually, because we've done a lot of work on them lately so we're pleased with that uh, all tenants happy which is always a good thing and what else to report on oh yeah EPCs so nothing to get new EPCs are about to run out a bit of a con in it every 10 years because uh, they haven't changed much but you have to pay for them and you have to update them in landlord and uh, still What's very frustrating is still the information that they have on their computer is not updated and it doesn't cover all structures, which is very frustrating because all the properties that I've got and we've worked on, we've gone above and beyond when it comes to building regulations and adding in insulation and soundproofing and all things like that. We've gone way, way above a lot of them. And, uh, people who have to come out and do the the checks on them it's just kind of well i can't see that so computer says no type of thing so it's annoying really annoying and then when we look back on our ones that were done 10 years ago oh my god i didn't look at them 10 years ago when they were done um the guys came around done them all paid and we've got our certificates and i thought oh okay it is what it is you know and then i looked at them late last night to realise there was about probably 15 to 18 things wrong. Absolute, actually wrong. <laughs> Can you believe it? So it's it's really, I think it's a big bloody con. I know houses should be energy performing the best they can. But I believe that the information or the programmes that the governments have set up need to be updated and altered 
because one shoe doesn't fit all you know what i mean they really need to be able to have a lot more columns on their computer let's say for what's in a structure of of a wall or floor or a ceiling or a roof because times are changing and materials have moved on massively in the last 20 odd years and and perform very differently as well and you know even just in the last five years and these old systems still only invented about 12 years ago 14 years ago are rubbish we'll end on that